start by sorting out our front panel cables. And here we can see that they are all being pre-marked by the case manufacturer. On the other hand, motherboard manufacturers usually provide us with a bridge. And that bridge usually comes with the corresponding markings. And that is going to make our lives so much easier. Just follow the writings and assemble the cable onto the bridge. Take your time and please make sure to follow the polarity. You wouldn't want to burn something on your motherboard at this stage of the build. And now we are simply going to connect the bridge onto the motherboard. This will enable our reset and power button as well as our hard disk drive LED. Next step, our water pump. The water pump draws its electricity directly from your motherboard USB 2.0 connector. This will provide a steady 5 volt electricity supply to our water cooling system. The only problem with this is that this is the only USB 2.0 connector on this motherboard. Therefore, we will not be able to connect it to the front panel USB plugs. And here's a SAID cable. I am first going to connect it to the USB 2.0 connector on our motherboard and then slide it on the other side of our casing. Make sure that you had pulled all the cables towards you and simply pass the remaining plug back on the front of the case through the top right corner of the back of your panel. I know that was a long sentence, but we are almost done. Catch the other side of your cable and just plug it in inside your water pump. Okay, um, it, it can be a little bit tricky, just take your time and don't pull on the cable too hard. Just make sure that you are being gentle and that this is done correctly. Okay, so without any further ado, let's connect the audio jacks, the USB 3.0 cables, and finally uh, connect our radiator 120mm fans to their extension cable. There is really not much to it, just grab the cable, make sure that you follow the alignment of the pins and the plug, and just push it in. Once done, just take the other side of the extension and plug it in on the 3 pin water pump plug on the motherboard right under the radiator. As you can see, I am also zip tying all the excess cabling which could be in our way in the rest of our build. Mm -hmm. 